Are you recording my crotch though? What are you doing? My bad. I get distracted. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So I'm back inside the dealership after I've taken the car over to detail. And as if you as you have seen in some of my past videos, uh, when I'm selling these specialty cars, I really try to take care of the cars myself. And uh, that's no exception, especially with the most expensive Chevrolet I've ever sold at $145,000. So I'm gonna be cleaning this car, as you're gonna see here in a little bit. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the car, the seat belts, I've had some seat belt questions, stuff like that. But uh, I do, that's an old bottle, let me get this one out here. Now everything I use is Adams. I always use Adams products. For my uh, for my car, um, using my own personal products on this car. I'm not using dealership products because we know how dealership people take care of cars and wash them and stuff like that. And I'll tell you, one of the coolest things I love about Adams is they got this awesome waterless wash. I got this bottle. I keep refilling it because I got a big bottle of it at home. Um, but I keep this one kind of handy with me. Um, I absolutely love this. There's a video up here that you'll see. Uh, watch that after this video. I'll have it at the end of the video as well, but uh, watch that video because it's amazing. I had uh, like a couple black trucks like this right here uh, showing how well it takes fingerprints off and just stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to run back over to the detail shop, start washing this car and get it ready and cleaned up for delivery later today. Misnomers on uh, car washing is that you have to like use hard chemicals, and especially on a brand new car, you don't. And I'm just cleaning out my bucket because I haven't um, used it all winter, and uh, this is my one bucket that I use uh, for car wash. I don't use it for anything else. So, and, and I know that because I know where I put the bucket um, in the house or in the garage and stuff like that. So. Um, uh, really, I just like to use nice hot water and uh, you know put some put some soap in it, which I have my uh, Adam soap right here. I brought some. I just I didn't need to bring my big uh, my big uh, bottle from home, so just use a nice nice uh, sudsy stuff. Get it nice and sudsed up. I'm using really hot water, and uh, you know that's all there really is to it. I'm gonna get washing this car and uh, I'll show you the rest of the car when we're all done. Now, believe it or not, the chamois I like to use is, is this Exorber. Uh, I got the XL. I got actually like three or four of these. Um, I got some of the smaller ones. Um, I've got this XL one, um, and they stay in that nice container. And they always stay wet. That's really the reason I get them. Uh, I can get a plastic bag and stuff like that, but absolutely love using these. They're really, really simple to use. And uh, so I'm going to dry the car off, and uh, we'll finish the rest of this uh, wash video up. So there you go, pretty much uh, all done. Now, uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Um, for you who have followed me over the years, um, you know I hate cleaning wheels. Now, the nice thing about these wheels is they are fairly easy to clean. Nonetheless, I still hate cleaning wheels. Uh, as you know, I have chrome wheels on my car and uh, it's even more brutal, but uh, we're all done pretty much cleaning up. Um, we're gonna do a paint protection called First Place Finish. Um, it's a dealer only uh, co company that you have to use a dealer. You can't buy it online anywhere. Uh, we're gonna use that. If you remember my spray paint, the Corvette video, which is right up here. Um, the spray paint, the Corvette video. I'm not using Zylon anymore. I just changed that a few weeks ago. Uh, Zylon had uh, a death in the family and uh, they reformulated 
the product and they basically watered it down so we can't do that anymore i don't think i think it's an inferior product now but uh so we're using what what's called first place finish very very similar uh to xylon and very very close to a ceramic pro without the costs uh, associated with a ceramic pro and without the prep work associated with a ceramic pro but uh, we're going to finish up the wheels uh, put the floor mats and all that good stuff in and then uh, do the paint uh, sealant on the car and the paint protection Picking up any noise in here, I apologize. Obviously, it's a working detail shop, and we detail all of our cars here. But uh, right now, what my guys are doing is uh, installing the first place finish. And basically, what happens is anything that's a painted surface, um, any, any wheels, metallic stuff like that. So basically, any of that black ABS plastic. So like on this car right here, uh, we wouldn't treat this black plastic mirror. So, but anything on here. We're going to uh, put that on there and uh, basically what they do is they let that set on there for 15 minutes and then wipe it off. So um, it lets it cure on there, lets it get on there, soak into the pores of the uh, paint and uh, it, once it cures, they bring it off and it'll set on there and it's guaranteed for five years. This is really, really close to a Ceramic Pro installation. And I think I said it earlier, it's not all about uh, all the prep and stuff like that with this. So it'll set on there. And the, even though this is a clear top with the carbon fiber, you're completely 100% fine. So you can see he's putting it on just like you would a Ceramic Pro. One simple line goes on, really, really easy. You just set it on there and go on. So like I said in um, any of my, in my video, with the uh, spray paint the Corvette video, which you'll find right up here, um, there is a grain of the paint. I know I got a lot of ridicule on the grain of the paint comment, but uh, all, all panels are painted this way, okay? So that is the grain of the panel, the grain of the paint. So that way you want to set there and uh, wipe on and off. Every time you put something on a car paint, there's gonna put some type of scratches or, or, or micro scratches or micro imperfections in the car. So. So you always try to want to go the way the paint was put on. As we finish up applying the first place finish to the car, you'll see my friend Zach just finishing up, doing an even coat all the way through, right with the grain of paint, and making sure that everything is protected as well. Before we started the paint, we did the interior of the car as well, and we're protecting the leather, the Alcantara, and all of the carpet in the vehicle as well. Now, the leather is protected from any types of fading, drying out, cracking, peeling, stuff like that. It's mink oil protecting it very well. He's doing a very good job of making sure he gets underneath the sur seating surfaces down by the plastics of the seat as well. The carpet is all protected from any type of water-based stains, soda stains, mud, dirt, grime, and some very basic oil-based stains. So that carpet is going to look brand new and stain-free for a long time. No fine detail has went unnoticed. The tailpipes are protected, the emblems are protected, everything about this car is 100% protected so that way you can enjoy your car and not have to worry about cleaning it. You can even see Zach is doing the fine details of getting the steering wheel completely 100% protected from fading. I said at the beginning of the vlog that many people think that car dealerships don't know how to detail cars. Well, I'm glad to say, as you can see my buddy Santo here doing the wheel of the car, that our guys are well trained and well versed to making sure they can take care of any car that comes into the dealership. As I mentioned earlier also, the first place finish is done on the wheels to prevent any type of brake dust buildup, which we don't have to worry about with the carbon ceramic brakes on this. The carbon fiber trim pieces are all done, the tops, every painted surface, the carbon fiber, front splitter, the wing, 
The bottom of the wing is even done, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about dust getting built up on there. I mentioned earlier that the emblems and the tailpipes are all done on this car. Every possible thing except for the glass we try to get done and the lights of the car. It's the only two things that we typically don't do, glass and the lights. So you can see it's all done here. It's very nicely done. And the only thing left to do is to take it off. So basically they're just gonna do uh, a wipe over on the car lighter than what you typically would do if you were waxing your car. So very, very light brushes uh, to take this stuff off. They'll do a quick air hose uh, to get any type of dust off and that is pretty much it. So it's very nicely done, very cool done. So now I have to take this car to the gas station and we'll get some gas in it. Distracted. All right, so uh, if you have nice cars, the big thing with these cars is the fuel you live in. Look at that guy. <laughs> you've got to put, hey, listen, you've got to put. Oh, oh. <laughs> This thing brings a lot of bad attention. Oh though, yeah, man. it does. <laughs> so as I was saying, you've got to sit here and put good gas in it. And if you look uh, at a website called Top Tier Top Tier Fuel dot com, um, you'll see that Shell V Power is one of the best uh, fuels on the market. So um, as I do with my personal car, my motorcycles, my Camaro, my Corvette, all that good stuff. Um, you know, I put the best fuel in there. So this is not the typical gas station we use. So I'm paying for this out of my own pocket for my customer because it's better uh, for his sake to start this car off with the best fuel in the car. Okay, so one more walk around on this car. Now you can see that my first place finished product, absolutely love this product. Uh, you can see that it just puts a fantastic shine on this car. As I said, I think earlier in the vlog, uh, as I record so much stuff, and I never know how I'm gonna edit it until I start editing it, but uh, I believe I said earlier that, you know, this is really, really close to a Ceramic Pro. I'm not trying to compete against Ceramic Pro. They're two totally different products, but man, I'm telling you, for the price that you pay for this, this is absolutely beautiful. Five-year warranty on this on a brand new car, um, and especially on a specialty car like this, uh, you're not gonna you're not going to have any worries. I mean, that product's going to last way more than five years. So, um, in my opinion, a paint protection is absolutely great if you use the right product. And I think the Finish First product um, is a fantastic product. I don't think Xylon is that product anymore. I use Xylon for almost 15 years, and uh, I'm done with that now. 
thanks for being a part of my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm watching my channel grow. I love it. We need to get to 100,000 subscribers crazy quick. I hear about 70,000 more before I get to 100,000. That's want to do that before the end of the year. So um, if there's anything I can do for you, when you're buying, wanting to buy a car, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you if I can. Uh, my cell phone number is in the description below and at my website, ChevyDude.com. So thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day and drive safely.